In this problem, we have an infinite series, and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. To do this problem, we're going to use something called the integral test. So the very first step in the integral test is to identify your function. So you just take this piece here, and you redefine it as a function of x. So we're going to let f of x be equal to 1 over x natural log of x and then natural log of the natural log of x. So there are three conditions in the integral test. We're just going to briefly state them and go through it without much justification, but we'll talk about it. The first condition is usually stated in textbooks as f being positive for x greater than or equal to 1. However, in this case, our summation starts at 3. So we'll just observe that f is positive for x greater than or equal to 3. Now, it's important to at least go through the motion mentally to observe that this is true. So first, 1 is positive, so that's OK. When x is bigger than 3, x is always positive, so that's OK. The natural log of any number bigger than 3 is also positive. The reason is, if you look at the graph of the natural log of x, it has a vertical asymptote at 0, and it crosses the origin at x equals 1. So the natural log of x is positive if x is bigger than 1, which leads us to the next thing we need to check, which is right here. So here we'll have ln ln of a number 3 or larger. Well, the natural log of 3, as we already pointed out here, is positive. But what is it? It's approximately 1.1. And so when you take the natural log of the natural log of 3, since it's approximately 1.1, that's bigger than 1. This is also positive. So this is also positive. Again, just a mental check to make sure that everything here is positive. So you have positive, positive, positive. So the bottom is positive, the top is positive, positive or positive is positive. How many times can I say positive in this video? Two. <laughs> um, the next step is to note that it is um, continuous. So f is continuous for x greater than or equal to 3. Nothing here is undefined uh, when x is bigger than or equal to 3. In the denominator, you have a product of continuous functions and a composition, so everything is continuous. Continuous over continuous is continuous. So there's no issues, there's no holes, there's no asymptotes uh, when x is greater than or equal to 3, so everything is nice and pretty. 3, the last one is to note that f is decreasing for x greater than or equal to 3. So the bottom is always getting bigger, uh, you know, monotonically. So the, this fraction, it's just 1 over something that's getting bigger. So it's going to eventually get close to 0 and do, do so in a very monotonic way. So all three things uh, are satisfied, all three conditions. So the integral test applies. So the integral test applies. OK, so now we have to. Um, use the integral test. So what does the integral test say? Well, it says that this infinite sum, which is given in the problem, will behave exactly as this improper integral. So we're going to go from 3 to infinity. So notice the sum starts at 3, so we start at 3. Of 1 over <laughs> x, looks really crazy, ln x, and then we have ln of ln of x dx. So if this integral converges, then our infinite sum will also converge. If this integral diverges, then our infinite sum will also diverge. OK, so to do this problem, let's do it uh, by first doing the indefinite integral. Let's try that. So let's look at the indefinite one. And at the end, we'll go back and uh, plug in the limits. So we have 1 over x ln x ln of ln x. What a crazy problem. And then dx. So how do you integrate this? Well, I am thinking uh, we need to make some type of u substitution. OK, so um, let's try letting u be this piece here, because this is the ugliest piece. <laughs> and let's see what happens. So let u be equal to the natural log of the natural log of x. 
And now we're going to compute du, which is the derivative of u. So du, and here we'll take the derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. But here, it's the natural log of the natural log of x. So it's 1 over ln x times the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And let us not forget our dx. Again, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Here, it's the natural log of the natural log of x. So it's 1 over the natural log of x times the derivative of the inside, which is simply 1 over x. And notice how beautiful all of this works out. This piece here is this piece here. So that's our du, just, just amazing. So this is equal to, wow, this is equal to du, and the bottom piece is just u. And so this is ln, absolute value of u, plus c. So this is ln, natural log, and then u was ln of ln of x. Wow, really crazy answer, plus c. Okay, let's just now go through uh, as a formality and finish the problem. I say formality because at this point it might be clear that this should diverge, but let me show you why. So 3 to infinity of 1 over x ln x ln of ln x dx. What an awesome problem. This is equal to, all right, so this is going to be the limit as b approaches infinity. I'll show you the extra steps of 3 to b. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Whenever you have an infinity, you can replace it with a variable and um, take the limit. So ln, ln x, dx, very good. And then we already worked this out, at least the indefinite one. So b to infinity. And we know that it's this. We don't need to bother uh, writing the plus c. So ln, ln ln x. Wow, it's a lot of lns. And we're going from 3 to b. And the reason we don't need to bother is because, remember, we subtract when we do the definite integral. So if we had written the plus c, um, it would just cancel out. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity. So first you plug in the b uh, for your x. So you get ln, absolute value of ln of ln of b. Really, really nice. And then minus ln, absolute value, ln of ln of 3. And let's just talk about what's happening here. So as b gets really, really, really big, ln b gets really, 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 really big. So the ln of something getting really big is something getting really big. And so this also gets big, and the natural log of that also gets big. So this just blows up. This is infinity. This is a number. So this is getting huge, and you're subtracting a number. So this is approaching infinity. So the integral diverges. So the integral diverges. And so therefore, by the integral test, our original series should also diverge. So thus, our original, I'll spell it, original series also diverges by the integral test. And that would be the answer. So a uh, really nice problem, um, kind of an interesting, interesting look at an interesting problem. Um, yeah, that's it.